Hey guys, what's up? This is Simon from DevTactic with a short video tutorial on how to make a Ionic app with shrinking headers like you might have seen in Facebook app or some other apps. It's a very popular feature. So I'm gonna use this custom ion from Ionic and we will start with a simple blank app. Okay, so we will install this custom ion with Boa and additionally I will add a Cordova plugin to change the appearance of our status bar because that just gives a very smooth animation. So first of all Boa install ionic ion header shrink and save it to your Bower file. <clears throat> okay, hopefully everything's working, yeah. And as I said, Cordova plugin at, and this is org.apache.cordova. This bar. It's a very common plugin. Okay, and Ionic platform iOS. I'm on a Mac, so I can build for iOS. If you're not working on a Mac, you obviously can't add the iOS platform or build for it. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so the first thing you must do is go to your app.js and if it loads, you need to add the dependency into your array here. So add ionic ion header shrink Okay, so that's everything we need to do here. Okay, before we go to the real including, one more thing. I recommend you, oh come on, so slow. I recommend you add some custom styling here because otherwise it might look not as you want it to have. So just insert these lines to get the animation you want to have. Okay, so, well, we could go to, come on, what's wrong with it? One second, please. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. One more thing we might want to do before we go to the real index and including is go to our app.js again and in this if we want to set some values the first one is overlays web view and the second one is the background color of our status bar. And this value is from the ionic positive color or yeah I guess it's positive. So I just looked it up and I'm gonna use it here. So this way our status bar will have the same color as our header bar so that will be a very cool animation. Okay, now let's go to our index and here we have our header bar. We will set it to positive so it looks cool. And now we come to our ion content where we add our custom ion inside this text. So header shrink, it's like a directive from AngularJS and it has some 
variable we want to set here it's scroll event interval let's say it's five that will make a very smooth animation and inside their repository they recommended to add a well add some space at the top so i'm gonna do this as well if you have any other setup you might not need this but you can experiment with that and you will see if you need it or if you are not need it so now we want to have a scrolling list because we want to see our shrinking headers in action so i'm gonna make a very simple ng repeat with well some cards whatever that should be fine and you might know this this is the custom or the classic card view from ionic For this case it's very very simple so inside here well, I need some dummy text I'm not sure where I can get it from let's say dummy bacon text bacon ipsum okay give me bacon whatever this is just for testing so don't mind the text yeah, it looks perfect whatever it should be fine so that should be everything we need right now so let's try it out in action as you can see we just had to add this directive header shrink to get this feature we want to have on our ion content and hopefully it will work okay okay obviously i made a mistake somewhere so let me check it and repeat and I want it. okay so obviously I had to include this line in our index HTML so that our ionic header shrink gets loaded so let's try it out okay so we should have status bar in this color and we should have a smooth header shrink animation when we scroll our content okay so here's our app with our dummy text and we have a blue header and we have a blue status bar and now if we scroll up our header gets blurred out a bit and leaves behind there so a very cool animation you could obviously add this to the bottom as well and if you scroll up it comes back very cool I think and with nearly no lines you just had to add this and well not really anything more so if you like this tutorial i would be very happy if you subscribe to my channel or follow me on twitter so come back for new tutorials the next time goodbye